Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Judith Patterson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Texas. Today I'm going to show you how to make my version of a card from the catalog. Um, I'm focusing on the In the Moment stamp set this week. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think this is a really sweet set, um, especially to let friends and family know that you're thinking of them. Um, pardon my voice. It's been coming and going a lot this weekend, so hopefully I can get through um, this video without it going completely or turning squeaky like Minnie Mouse. All right, let's go ahead and switch to the desktop view. Um, so this stamp set, like I said, it's in the moment. <clears throat> Super sweet stamp set. This one is really fun to color with Stampin' Blends, which I'll be using today, watercolor pencils, or just straight up um, watercolors. So you can find the stamp set on page 112, and the card that I'm casing from the catalog today um, is this one here. Um, and I have gone ahead and made one of these. It's super easy. This is a great card for a beginner if you have just a few Stampin' Blends or you could even switch it up and use the watercolor pencils. Those are fantastic for brand new stampers. Um, but like you can see, it doesn't take a lot of color. They used um, Pool Party Stampin' Blends, the Ivory and Bronze Stampin' Blends, and then the Medium um, the Medium Neutral Stampin' Blends. There's, Of course, there's two of those. So my card that I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a Highland Heather base. I have my measurements written down here, um, and they'll also be on my blog, so I'll link to that in the description. But I don't have all the measurements, just the little pieces. So this is Highland Heather. It's cut 8.5 inches by 5.5 inches, and then I've scored it at 4.25 inches. Um, I have some of the subtle 6x6 designer series paper. I wanted a little extra color on my card. So um, I just took a sheet of Highland Heather, Pear Pizzazz, Balmy Blue, and Blushing Bride. And two of these are cut one inch by three and a quarter inches, and two are cut one inch by three and a half inches. I'm just going to set those aside for now. And then this is the piece I'm stamping on. I'm just using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp. And this basic white cardstock measures three inches by two and three quarter inches. So you want three inches wide by two and three quarter high. Okay, so I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends to color this image. <clears throat> I have Balmy Blue. I have Ivory. I have Highland Heather. And I have that medium um, neutral combo. And the numbers on the medium neutral are SU600 and SU500. <clears throat> did you catch that I couldn't decide what color to color the mug so I colored it blue and then I went over it again with the Highland Heather um, and you can't really see the blue on it this time but that's okay. okay so I have a scrap of pear pizzazz um, <laughs> this is the smallest scrap I have of this color right now I know it's way too big for <clears throat> what we're using it for, but that's okay. I'll save the rest of it when we're finished. So I have my Versamark ink and you're in my thoughts stamp. 
So I'm just going to stamp this straight down and be careful not to wiggle it or move it around too much. And then I'm going to heat emboss it using the white embossing powder. Okay, so now I'm going to use my paper snips. And I'm just going to carefully trim this out of this huge piece. You could also use your um, paper trimmer, if you would rather, for this part. You'll get a straighter cut probably that way. So let's cut that end and then this end I'm just going to cut at an angle. And now it's time to assemble our card. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting um, Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of all of these pieces here. And it does not matter um, which pattern is on which color. That is totally your choice. Or even, this is great for just scraps that you have. So if you have leftover scraps of this designer series paper or something similar, then um, you can just use those scraps. So I'm going to start with the short purple one. I want the top of this one to be about half an inch or so from the left. And I'm putting in a little bit of an angle. Now I have the balmy blue piece. I'm going to put it angle just a smidge the other way and again there's no right or wrong on how you want to layer these or angle these um, it does not have to be perfect In fact, I think I have mine a little too far to the left, but it's okay. I'm a firm believer in no stress stamping. <clears throat> I have in the past been a little on the perfectionist side, and that just causes stress, my friends. So, I would go of that and now just embrace the no stress stamping and just have fun with it and it all looks good okay so this piece goes here you want to make sure that that dimensional that we put there on the right um, is hanging off of this. You want it to stick to the, your card base, not to your DSP there. Okay, so for the inside, I have a piece of four inch by five and a quarter inch basic white card stock. I have a quarter inch by four inch, just tiny little leftover scrap of that DSP. I just didn't want to waste it. So I'm just going to take it going to leave just a little bit of an edge here and then I'm going to put this inside the card okay there you have it 
there is our version of the card from the catalog. Again, you can find that stamp set on page 112 and the original card here on page 113. So it's just stepped up a little. Um, if you don't have the heat embossing, of course you could leave that out. And I did use um, an extra set of blends for this one. hope you enjoyed this card from the catalog. If there's a card from one of our publications, one of our current publications that you would like to see on one of these videos, be sure to leave a comment and let me know or um, there's a link in the description box where you can contact me and I would love to do that for you. Okay, um, one more thing before I go. Um, Stampin' Up! has had an unusual amount of orders the last week or two, and so um, that deadline of December 14th that I had mentioned before is no longer good. Um, they are getting a huge influx of orders, which is great, but um, that means shipping is slowed down a little bit. So if you want to get your ship your order by Christmas, then you need to get expedited shipping. Um, and the sooner you get that in, the better because um, there's just a lot a lot happening right now. But on um, a brighter note, December 15th, Stamp It Up is offering free shipping on all orders above $75 in the United States. So if you place a $75 or more order December 15th, then you'll get free shipping as an option unless you decide to do the expedited shipping. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I need to go before my voice completely runs out on me. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I love it whenever I get notified that you guys like and subscribe to my videos. It just makes my day. Happy stamping.